August 17th, 1.23 p.m. We did a little bit more inspection on our um, gasifier here, and we actually did find the diffuser. It didn't melt away as we thought. What had happened, though, is between the stainless steel tube and the stainless steel diffuser, we actually used a brass connector, a brass nut and brass ferrules on the compression fitting, and that proved to have too low of a melting point, and that's what actually melted away. You can see at the end of our um, air tube right here the remains of that brass ferrule. Uh, so the brass actually melted away and that's what came apart. So it looks like the, the diffuser itself did quite well, despite the temperatures being hot enough to fuse sand into a big ugly mass of brass. Yeah, there we go. That's what's left of the nut that used to hold this together. We have actually melted brass down at the high temperatures of the fluidized bed. We're thinking as well, uh, we've got a collection of ash left over from a previous gasifier experiment. We might try a nice solid or nice thick bed of ash at the bottom of this rather than sand that may have a higher fusing temperature and eliminate this uh, ugly fusing problem we've been having with the sand granules. Okay.